You know, when you watch a horror movie like this, it's just, uh, yeah. I'm glad I didn't see it at night, because it'd be... You ever get home from the movie theater and you just, like... <laughs> you know, you slowly walk up to the front door and you're just... Okay, no, it's just a movie, it's just a movie, and you're, you know, you're, you're taking your key, you're kind of shaking a little bit, and just... <sighs> Weird stuff can happen, that's for damn sure. Who knows? But let's get started. Fuck! What is up, movie lovers, film buffs, and everybody else? I am David, of course, your film junkie, and I'm bringing you a film review of The Conjuring. The Conjuring stars Patrick Wilson, Vera Farmiga, blah, 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 yeah. Ron Livingston, I'm gonna need those TPS reports. I like Ron Livingston. And then, of course, Lily Taylor. Yes, I'm cheating. I'm looking on my phone because I can't remember stuff. And it is directed by James Wan. He has done such gems as Saw and Insidious and, and the very underrated, I thought, Dead Silence. And one thing about those movies that he's done is James Wan knows how to make a horror movie. If you've watched those, he knows how to build intensity. He knows how to make everybody go, uh... And anyways, The Conjuring stars, it's, it's the same formula that we've seen many times. We've seen it time and time again, a new family moves into a new house, and then weird shit starts happening. And of course, Patrick Wilson and whatever the heck her name is, they're uh, paranormal investigators, and this all takes place in the early 70s. So there's not like this fancy schmancy technology like in Ghost Hunters, you know. Taps. A couple, they do these paranormal investigations and then um, weird stuff starts happening in this house. I mean, they have five daughters. Weird stuff starts going on. She gets a hold of these two um, demonologists, I guess they can also be. So then they come to the house and they start trying to investigate. And they're not one of those like paranormal investigators that just go like, that are just all about, yeah, I wanna, I wanna find a ghost, I wanna find a ghost. They actually will debunk certain things. You actually see that with other people who go, oh yeah, well, you know, it makes noises, there's creaking, there's all this stuff. It's like, yeah, that's because up here, your pipes rolled and your house is shit. So they start investigating and this weird stuff happens. They have all these little uh, tricks that they use, which was kind of really cool tricks. Like I didn't even know of them. I used to watch ghost hunters all the time and they had their tricks, but they had better technology. This is limited technology because it's, the 70s, you know, they got the big earphones and the tape recorder that's around their, their shoulder and they're just like mm -hmm. So yeah, anyways, The Conjuring, I liked it. I actually really liked the, the Conjuring. It was a very well done movie. Like I said, James Wan knows how to make a horror film, okay? We've seen the horror genres, we've seen the different different kinds of horror genres over and over again. We've seen this one over and over again, but the thing is, it's all about a good director to build the that tense, that tenseness, where I actually got goosebumps a couple of times. I shit you not. There's a doll in this movie that will probably haunt me for the next month or so. The performances were great, everybody did a good job, um, and even like the little practical effects, you know, people getting tossed around and everything like that, it's just, it was all done well. I mean, I, you couldn't really ask for better little camera tricks. That one, there was the one part that gave me goosebumps, which you actually see in one of the TV spots, is when the wind's blowing, she's outside with the sheets, and then it just like blows, and then it forms around like a figure and then blows away. Woo, there's more to it after that, which I won't spoil for you, but wow. That one, I mean, even in the theater, I got goosebumps and I think I'd feel the fingers standing up now. That's all you can ask for when it comes to like a movie like this. It's just a director that knows how to do it. He doesn't go for cheap um, thrills. He doesn't go for cheap shocks, th cheap startles. You know when you, someone's approaching something like, uh, and you know something's gonna pop out and it might be like a bird or like a child or something. He doesn't go for that. I mean, sometimes he'll build something up and then all of a sudden it won't, nothing will be there. And and so you don't know if it's if something's gonna just jump out or not or something. Yeah, it's all just great. If you want to have a good time, I rate it as, hey, I'm happy. The theater, you can keep my money. <laughs> But I'm not gonna give you any more because, you know, it's it's still the formatic, formulamatic, I guess you could say, if that is the same word. But yeah, let's go see it if you're a fan of horror movies. I mean, it, what's funny too is this movie's rated R, but there's no cussing, there's no nudity, there's not really that much graphic nature in it. There's a couple spots where it's like, whoa, but it could have been PG-13, but I think it's just the whole uh, content of it. And you know, it's really freaky. That's all I gotta say. And that's, maybe it's R-rated for freaky. Who knows? Let's go see it, and if you have seen it, let me know what you guys thought of it down below in the balls area. Okay, well hit that like, thumbs up button if you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Well, I'm David, the Film Junkie, and this has been a film review of The Conjuring. And, uh, 
yeah, I will never play that hide and seek game because that's just dumb. That's probably one of my gripes was like, you know, that whole hide and seek game was kind of, eh, I don't know if that really happened and like, because it was supposed to be based on a true story. I've never played a game like that. It's actually a very uh, not safe hiding go seek game. But uh, other than that, I really didn't have any gripes. But uh, I don't know why I'm saying that after I've already said, hey, bye-bye guys. It's hot. I'll talk to you guys later.